This is a very powerful color editing technique, and so use this wisely. <laughs> I think that this is an excellent lens. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma and professionally I am a software developer, but my free time I love landscape photography and making related videos here on YouTube. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can actually change the colors of different elements in your photographs. Now for the type of photography that I do, which is landscape photography, I don't tend to change the colors of things too much. However, on my last photo shoot, I took some photos of the covered bridge and I just felt like it looked a little bit too blue in the morning light. It was a red covered bridge. Uh, however, it's gotten a bit faded and uh, the way the light was shining on it, it just didn't really have that bright red color that I wanted to get in a couple of my photos. And so I actually tweaked the color a little bit in Affinity Photo, which is what I'm going to show you today. So for this first photo, I really like this photo. I think this is probably my favorite photo uh, that I've taken this year, certainly. It's the best photo I feel like I've gotten for a while. But the bridge uh, initially just looked pretty blue. Here's what the bridge looked like originally. Uh, you can see it's very faded. It's kind of a rusty color. And so I actually was able to use an HSL adjustment in this photo to give the bridge a much more red hue. And so to do that, what I did was I just selected the blue color and pulled the hue of it over more toward the red, adjusted the saturation a little bit. And then from there, it was just a matter of masking it off onto the bridge. So let me show you that on the computer. So I already have the previous HSL adjustment here. I'm just gonna turn that off. And then I've also turned off a couple of defringing layers. Um, so just ignore any fringing that you see in the photo. When the defringing is turned on, uh, because it was really intense defringing, it slows the software down a little bit. And so I've just unchecked those layers so that it doesn't feel the need to render that as I go along. Um, so I'll just zoom in on the bridge here. We can focus on that. And what I'm gonna do is add a new HSL adjustment layer. So that's in the tool panel on the right, uh, just hit the HSL adjust. All right, and so now you've got a bunch of different colors under here. Uh, and I wanna select the blue because that one is the one that the bridge kind of showed up as in the photograph. And now I can use the hue shift slider to adjust the color. Uh, and so I could go in the direction on this, do all kinds of weird things. But what I wanna do is just pull that over so that the bridge uh, gets to a nice red hue. Uh, and you can see still it needs more uh, than that though. And so just bring the saturation on it up quite a bit as well. Now I don't want it to be anything too crazy uh, for this photo, but I just want to give it a little bit more red than what it had. Now, once you've got the adjustment on there, obviously I don't want to apply that adjustment changing the hue of the blue to my entire photograph. There's a bunch of things you can see in the sky at the top, looks pretty weird. I've added a bunch of weird fringing. I don't want any of that. I only want this to apply to the bridge and I actually don't want it to apply to the entire bridge either. Um, you can see in the, the um, posts on the side of the bridge here also look strange. So what I'll actually do is use the masking and in Affinity Photo, all of your adjustment layers are actually masks already. So you don't need to create a new mask on the adjustment layer. You can just paint on that layer as a mask. And so I'll hit Command I, that'll invert that so that everything is masked out at this point. And then I will just get a nice brush here uh, in white and just paint over the bridge. Now I'm not gonna paint the roof back on uh, um, because I didn't want that in, but I'm just gonna kind of loosely paint over 
the bridge area. And then from there, I'll go back with a smaller brush and paint off the areas that I don't actually care about that much. So we'll switch back to a black brush, get a nice small brush, and just zoom in a lot. And I can get rid of all the overpainting on the roof. Uh, you can do this the other way too and just, you know, paint it on a little bit more carefully. I tend to kind of go for a, a big paint and then just mask back off the things that I didn't want. And for these posts here, I took a real small brush and just brushed off the individual pillars and rails. Um, it's like a railing on this walkway here. And I brushed those off individually, even though the cover bridge is relatively small in the frame. I brushed those off just to keep that detail the right color as well to make everything look pretty natural. You can just kind of slap these on. Um, you know, I, I see people sometimes on, uh, you know, Instagram videos or something just kind of slap on an adjustment really quick and be like, wow, look how fast. Um, but it's better when you're not just making an Instagram reel to take the time and make everything look perfect. By the way, I'm just adjusting the size of my brush using the square brackets. Uh, so the right bracket will make it larger and the left bracket will make it smaller. Uh, so if you don't know that shortcut, uh, that's really handy. Alright, with all of that masked off, here is our final adjustment. And so, I always love a before and after. If I toggle off the HSL adjustment, there's what the bridge looked like before. Uh, just a little bit dark, a bit blue, a bit rusty in color, and just toggle it back on. And now it has a little bit brighter look, as if it's uh, got a fresher coat of paint than it actually does. Um, so that's a good way a lot of times to adjust some of the color in your photos is using that HSL adjustment. It makes it easy to adjust the colors of different things, um, foliage, you know, you can tweak it a little bit in terms of the tones and things like that. So for the second photo, uh, I'm going to show you how you can do actually a little bit more extreme color adjustments, which is the recolor adjustment. Now this particular photo, to be honest, was my least favorite photo from the photo shoot. It's not really something I would put in my portfolio whether or whatever. Um, the colors to me just are a little bit too extreme, but to match the extreme color that I have in the photo, I wanted the bridge to have kind of that same look. But before adding the adjustment on, this was what the bridge looked like. It's pretty, pretty dull again, and uh, so I wanted to give it this really vivid red look in order to match the vivid yellow and green that I already had throughout the photo. So to add a recolor adjustment, uh, I'm just going to go down right below HSL in the tools section and add the recolor adjustment and actually need to move it up a few layers, put it up on the top layer here. And from here, it's just a matter of adjusting the hue, the saturation, the luminosity, and the opacity until you get the object that you want to color, um, the color that you want, and then again, also masking it off so that you don't have your entire photo recolored. So right now, the entire photo is this really bright red color. Um, and so obviously that's just a bit too, too much, right? So I'm going to adjust that a little bit to the orange and I'm gonna give it a little less saturation. Now it's kind of hard to say at this point, I can come back and adjust it later though as needed. Um, and then I can change the, the luminosity a little bit if I want as well. 
Okay, so here we've got the color that I want, but then I just want to bring the opacity of it down so that it's much less extreme. Now one final thing that I'm going to do here, I uh, probably should have done this earlier on, but uh, you can see the color is really extreme now. It's basically just a bunch of color over top of my photograph. It just looks like I put a big orange layer over top. And I don't want that. I want to blend that color into the photo. And so you can use the blend modes for the layer. Uh, they're right here next to the opacity. And you can just try out some different ones. Um, and so you can see as I select different blend modes, it just applies that color in a lot of different ways. Um, some are going to be better than others depending on the situation. Um, but usually I just kind of mouse down through this and experiment with them. On this photo, what I want to use is the multiply blend mode. And then actually maybe bring the opacity back up a little bit. Uh, and that just blends that color in nicely to this layer. From here, the last thing that I need to do is just mask it off onto the barn again, um, invert it, get the brush, mask everything on nicely so that I have that color just applied to the section that I want. And so here we have our recolor adjustment of this as well. And so again, I can just do a little before and after. And so here's what the bridge looked like before we made that change. Uh, and then here it is after. It just fits the tone of the photograph a lot better uh, with that adjustment made to it. Now the recolor adjustment again is something that you can use for much more extreme color edits. You can have a lot of fun with it. Um, you could use it to color in uh, black and white photos, you could use it to change the entire color of a photo, or you can use it uh, more specifically in different sections to uh, very dramatically change the color of different objects that you select in the photo. Um, and so it's just a pretty cool tool that you can use sometimes uh, to adjust your photos. And uh, that and the HSL adjustment both can be very powerful ways of changing the color as needed in your photographs uh, just to get the, the look and feel of the photo that, that you want, um, create the art piece that you want. I know some people feel like uh, these kinds of color edits are cheating. Uh, to me, especially in this case, I don't really feel like it is. Uh, the bridge was already a red bridge. I just kind of adjusted it a little bit to fit the hue that I wanted to be a little bit more red. Um, and, you know, it's not like I changed it to be a blue bridge or a green bridge. Um, so I, I like to keep it a little bit more minor uh, just to kind of be true to the scene. Um, but, you know, I, I feel like whatever art that you want to create is cool with me um, and so if you want to do something really extreme and totally change the color, go for it. <laughs> um, anyway though, that is going to be all for this video and so if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like button on your way out and to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss more videos that I'm really excited to share with you in the future. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.